last eggs we have. If you didn't know this was eggs, would you drink it? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Saturday morning in Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob is watching his favorite Saturday morning show. So, yesterday was a phenomenal day. Yeah. Flashback. That's another one. Woo! Oh my! End of flashback. We caught two sharks. Um, pause. Five minutes later. So, guys, yesterday was a phenomenal day. We got it. Yeah, this is the two times. A huge cool shark. A, oh, illegal size black tip. And our favorite catch of the day, a African pompano. It's so heavy. <laughs> that was an amazing time. It fought so hard. Right, like you see my rod going like to the water. How hard that fight was, guys! I couldn't get this on film. I, my mind was just going crazy when I saw this. Uh -huh. This dude was hooked up to a shark. I, I, I had it on film. He was hooked up to a shark. It was like a, this big of a black tip or lemon. Yeah, and a, and a big live came over. Yeah. No. That Goliath grouper, yeah. he's up, he's up. It was out of this world. Guys, we were catching all other types of fish. Well, so we're going to get right into cleaning our fish. We're going to fillet the jack. Now, this is my brother's fish. I got myself a little blue fish. So he's going to fillet it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's fillet this thing. I'm using this knife though. First we have to sharpen the knives. Okay, so Vinny, so you have to cut him right back here in here. Yeah, and then get a little bit in there. Yeah. I got this. I'm ready! Okay, well. Let's watch my brother do it. Come on. Yeah, so yeah, my brother cut the first line right there. One shift later. You no, want to cut up here, and then you want to flip him over. Then I, I got it. And you want to stick the knife in here. I see, I see. Feel the backbone. Find the backbone at first. Can I do it? Put the backbone. He doesn't, he's a jack with no backbone. Well, then cut for crying out loud. Let me cut my prize catch. No, my, my prize catch. That's like just like the beginning of it. By the way, none of this fish is going to waste. Like, whatever remains we have, it's going to be put in the crab traps and stuff. So, yeah. My brother might not be the best at playing, but whatever stuff that's left down there and we can't get it off, we're gonna put it in our crab trap so easy to eat. And so. Hey, Casey. Yeah. A lot of meat that my. You don't really wanna feed all this to. All this good meat to the crabs. Jeez, what did you do? I don't know. How'd you do this? So yeah, my brother sort of. Uh huh. So, guys, um, I've sort of messed it up. A lot. But, um, it's fine. Nothing's going on. Look how much meat that. Montage. Yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so that's all the meat I'm gonna get off of this fish. We're not throwing this in the water. We're using this crab bait. Now it's time for the great fish. African, African pompano. African pompano. Now this thing's huge, and this is really a, um, a prized fish. So 
We're trying try to do. I'm gonna try to do the best as I can. Two seconds later. So I wanna show you something on this cool fish. It's the lateral line. It's right here. The lateral line goes all the way down, bends down, goes all the way on the leg. That's how it senses that other fish are by it. It's actually really cool, so let's try to fillet this fish. I never filleted a African pompano like this, so we'll try to do it. You get the idea. Later. I'm not the best player myself, but I'm good enough. I did get some bones in that. I'm sorry for the people who are really good at filleting because I'm not that good. I'm learning how to fillet. I'm getting better. Let's go upstairs and cook this fish. I'm going to teach my brother how to cook ah. so he can do it for me. You're going to teach me how to die. Let's get all the spices. Himalayan salt. salt. The grape seed oil. Never use um coke. Yeah. Never use olive oil. Just grape seed oil. It's great. We need the pan. We need the pan. 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 Look, you got a pan right here. Oh. Put a pan right here. So fish. This is um just layers of fish. We want to dry them out. That's why. Not dry them out fully. Which is like, get them less wet than when they were fresh. We've got the breading. We only have three eggs. We're gonna make this work. Need the bowls. Get the bowls. Right here. Get over here, Vinny. I need you to crack three eggs. Okay, that's all we have. Into a bowl. Down and lift. Wrong. He can do it. Now throw that in the sink. Okay. Crack two more eggs in room. Okay, cut the video. Cut. Oh, I could cry. I could just, I could just cry. Okay, I'm just cooking the eggs. It's not my fault. 
I just got done salting the fish. Now I'm going to cook it and eat it. We should actually add a um, step to catch, clean, and cook, right? It should be catch, clean, and cook, and eat. What? That's hot. So guys, how I'm making the tartar sauce, you'll need mayonnaise, um, pickle, and you have to have pickle juice too. Now, I don't, yeah. And then, uh, that's pretty much it. Just, um, let's get started. Now, I'm gonna cut up this little pickle into small little pieces. This is not small enough, so maybe we can cut it smaller. Ah, that broke its head. Okay, guys. Hopefully it's focused. Mmm! Woo! We just got do done doing the tartar sauce. And we got the limes in it. Let's yeah, go. we're just like juice the limes into there. Hopefully good. it tastes good. Hopefully it tastes phenomenal because... And the reason we did this is because our refrigerator had nothing. And no. So, this fish is really good. I've been eating it off camera, don't tell Benny, but. <laughs> so, I hope you loved our last video. And so this time, we're gonna go out and into the flats and catch some really cool, really amazing fish to go up to Cleveland, Ohio on a private jet. It's, it's pretty crazy, guys. I know. I can't even comprehend it.